Okay, so tonight I'm going to show you um, how to put together a metahuman uh, head and body so that you can sculpt it nicely and use it in things such as uh, a mesh morpher and the like. So let's get started. First thing that you have to do is import our original model. So I'm going to go to import and UE projects. Uh, let's see, test check content. And I'm going to do, use this one. So this is an FBX. It's not going to save the, uh, the rigging or anything like that. But we can bring it in. And then we now have our head and our body in. Now, of course, to see them, you have to do uh, contr control and bring it in. And then very important, hit edit. So as you can see, you notice they're, they're not, even though they were exported where you, from the, um, they were exported together from Unreal Engine, um, they obviously are not together. So what we're going to do is put them together. First thing I have to do is I'm going to click on the head and I want to bring that up. And then I want to click on the head again and under merge, merge down and say okay. And now it's one thing. Notice the coloring is now the same. But what I found is sometimes even once you do this, if you're, you can get poles between these areas. So what I like to do is I'm going to close this and go to geometry. And in geometry, there should be, uh, let's see, modify topology, weld points. And I think that puts it together a little bit stronger. It's still not, I mean, this is the nature of the metahuman models. Um, so now, of course, we, I have a move brush up. And I should be able to start, well, I don't think I, I think I want a standard brush. Let's go with that. Oh, one thing before I do that. One thing you want to do before you start modeling, especially if you're going to use um, Mesh Morpher, is you want to save as. This is saving as a tool. And I like to save it in a separate uh, ZBrush project directory. So we got ZBrush projects. And I'm going to call it model pre pre sculpt model pre I'm spelling it maybe spelling it wrong whatever um, so here we got our model and we've saved it already so we know we have a good version of it. Um, the other thing we may want to do, at, well, we already have, well, I think we want to export it as an, o, as an OBJ. So we're going to do that too. Save. This way we have two OBJs. And now we can just start sculpting. And I'm going to build up the shoulder a little bit here and this. Kind of go, I'm not great at this, but the whole point is you want to, we're going to make him a little bit more muscular. Handle the arms. The arms. And pecs. Uh, legs. And... And notice we can go around here and we can start sculpting and it's not, it's pretty much staying together. 
Um, that may be a little bit much. Let's see if I... Shift should give me something to smooth it down a little bit. Uh, that, I think I want a different brush here. The, um, I think there's a flatten brush. Let's see what, yeah, flatten. And flatten that down and test. Uh, well, that's looking a little bit better. You get the idea. Now I'm going to go back to my move, nope, my standard brush. Again, I'm, I'm just learning this myself, so. And a little bit, make this a little, little more on the legs in the back, maybe a little on the calves. Just a little. Don't want. There was an ad that had a bikist and a biker, and uh, they had given these huge calves. Well, this looks a little uh, uneven here, so we'll do something. Try to. There we go. Oh, you get the. We now have given him uh, some more muscles. So. Now you have it, and you can see it stayed together pretty well. And it's, if you're a better sculptor than I, which probably you are, you can now, you now have it, and again, you can save it as Model Morph. And... You're going to export it as modelmorph.obj. And uh, now he he is ready to go into uh, uh, Mesh Morpher or you can, you now have your modified rig. Now, one other cup, one other thing I want to mention. Um, you have, if you look at him, if we go into Subtool, what he has... Pretty many points. There are, you may want to make it lighter, maybe, you know, a lighter model. And um, in, you do have remesh. Now, if you're going to remesh, then you want to be careful because you can really mess it up. You want to make sure you're saved. And, and you also have to kind of judge the points, right? Like, Let's see if I can get to, well, let's do this and see what happens. You see, you know, you see it gets kind of weird. Let me do a control Z here. This is why you're there, you save before you mesh, you remesh. The other thing I want to point out in geometry here. You, if you're going to Z remesh or another way of remeshing, there is Dynamesh. Dynamesh is for something totally different. Dynamesh is for, you do that before you really do your sculpting. So Dynamesh is not a remesher. Um, from what I read, the idea is it makes it your clay more clay-like. But as you can see, this is why we save it. This guy <laughs> is kind of a mess right now. But um, anyway, so um, so next time, what I want to do is take take him and um, bring him into um, a mesh morpher and uh, see what we can do with our little character here. And uh, who knows? So. Thank you, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.